All right, people, we are back. And from the last video, you would have known if you've watched Summer Shredding Chicago is canceled, which is gonna alter kind of our plans now with training. So taking the bodybuilding component out of it lets me dial in really on just the high rocks race, which maybe is a, a blessing in disguise because um, obviously training for two completely different things is not easy. And so now being able to fully focus on high rocks, endurance, kind of like that functional training aspect of things, we can really get locked in. And so mileage is slowly increasing um, and we're trying to kind of build up that like functional capacity in the lower body while also still trying to do some kind of like aesthetic stuff upper body, but trying to pick up the pace a little bit more with upper body stuff, more supersets, trying to get the heart rate up a little bit higher. So kind of tweaking training a little bit, but for the most part, still staying the same a good amount. Um, today, we've got legs. And so like I was saying, kind of working that like functional capacity of the lower body. We're gonna throw things off with more kind of like strength bodybuilding work, you could say. So we're gonna hit some front squats today. And then we're gonna get into some hamstring stuff a little bit, kind of hypertrophy stuff. And then like the second half of the workout will be much more geared towards actual like high rocks prep. So conditioning, lunges, wall balls, rower, bike, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna get warmed up, warm up today for legs really is relatively simple. I'm not, I haven't really been doing a whole lot. Um, usually I'm gonna hit the bike for about two or three minutes, nasal breathing, kind of get the heart rate up a little bit. And then we'll really just kind of jump into the workout, some lighter sets, body weight sets, get the blood flowing, get the muscles moving, and then we'll load up the bar and just get to work. So we're gonna get on the bike, finish the pre-workout, and get into it. So this is one of my favorite warm-up exercises. You've probably seen me do it the past two or three workouts we posted on here. It's called a lat PNF using one of the heavier bands. And doing it today with front squats just because they really do require a good amount of lat mobility or lat like range of motion with getting that elbow up and so this is really helpful in kind of opening up this like lat shoulder area so that when we get into that front squat position here we get that access up here so going through this all we're doing is lining that band up bottom of the elbow kind of leaning forward a little bit letting that band pull that elbow up we get a stretch through that lat armpit area and then every few seconds every like five ten seconds we're going to kind of just contract that lat press that elbow down and we're going to relax stretch a little bit further we're going to kind of go through that Press release two or three or four times each side and it's just gonna help kind of open up that lat a little bit. So if you front squat or if you have never front squat but want to try it and it feels like you can't get into a good position, try doing this stretch here because it will really open things up so that when you get over to the bar and you get under it you're really able to get into a good position. So we got front squats now. We're gonna go four or five sets. Um, probably gonna work eight to like 15 reps. So a little bit higher on the reps. Um, we're still gonna try and get the weight up a little bit. So these ought to be fun. So 
So I want to explain Frost Squat a little bit more than what I previously did. So one, the reason I'm doing Frost Squats is because personally I feel them work the quads a lot more than back squats. I back squatted a lot growing up through like lifting in high school and college and whatnot. And I've never felt it in my quads. That's just me. Even now that I know good form, it just, I feel so much load and tension through my spine into my lower back. That back squatting just doesn't work for me really. Especially as I get, Jesus, especially as I get higher in weight. Front squatting on the hand though, just by nature of where you're loading it on that, that front rack position, really biases the quads and it's nearly impossible to front squat and not feel it in your quads. So I like it for that reason. I feel it in my quads, really works the quads and it takes that load off the spine. Um, and kind of secondary from that, the core work that you get loading the front of the body and having to kind of stabilize, I feel is much better than back. And so when we talk about front squat and position, we're gonna be, like I said earlier, getting those elbows up. And the cue I like to think about is driving your elbows up and in. First few sets, I'll admit that you would have seen through here, a little sloppy, but when we're getting into position, we really want to make sure that one, also, we don't have to have hands all the way back here. I personally go just three fingers right here because the bar is going to be on the shoulders, not necessarily be held by the hands. So I go three fingers here, bar on the shoulders, we're up. And in this position here, my hands are just kind of stabilizing the bar. They're not holding a lot of weight. And so I'll step back. I like using a wedge as well to bias the quads more. But when I'm in this position, elbows are imagining driving up and in as we sit down to create that shelf to hold the bar. Moving into single leg RDLs now. So there's a few ways you can do these. So the traditional way of doing a single leg deadlift and a grab late weight to start is holding a dumbbell and going opposite, reaching back. That's how most people you know this exercise. That's how I'm going to be doing them today. If that's something you can't do, hold on to something with this opposite side here so that you can at least load this leg and take the balance component out of it. Good, so we're gonna be going three, four sets. We'll see how we feel. It's probably like eight to 10 reps-ish. Um, you're going to get me a, getting a good stretch through this and trying to keep good form. For good form, is going to be keeping hips, hips and feet square. That toe stays down as much as we can. Hips stays down, not rotating up. And I'm trying to keep those shoulders back to maintain that neutral spine the whole way through. So these are one of my favorite exercises. There's not a lot of ways to load hamstrings like single leg unilaterally so this is a good one if you get comfortable either with some support or without support don't be afraid to go heavy on these like any other single leg exercise you shouldn't be afraid to go heavy because it's a saying i'll say till i die getting stronger on strong on one stronger on two so don't be afraid to go heavy with single leg work, whether it's hamstrings, quads, calves, whatever it may be.
So we wrapped up the bodybuilding portion of the workout with calf raises, seated calf raises, and the abductor machine. To wrap up the workout, we're gonna finish off with some like high rocks prep conditioning work, whatever you wanna call it. So what we're doing, roller, 100 meter sprints with lunges. So we're going 100 meters. This is programmed to a one minute rest time. We're gonna then go 20 reps, lunges, walking lunges, back over here, rest the remainder of that minute, whatever is left, and then go again. And we're gonna go for five rounds. So 500 meters total and 100 meter sprints with sets of 20 lunges, so 100 lunges total. We're gonna see how the timing works out. Um, one minute rest should be enough time to get through all the lunges, but we may be running it pretty tight, so we'll see how this goes. But this is gonna finish off the workout, kind of burn out the legs um, for today. So let's get into it. <laughs> Oh my god. That was fucking brutal. That was one of the hardest finisher things I've done in a long time. Oh my god. to annihilate your quads and glutes really the ad just end actor machine before it wasn't a good idea but quads crunch fire right now oh my gosh quad pump it's crazy right now All right, people, that's gonna be a wrap on leg day. That was probably one of the best workouts overall that I've gotten in the past week or so. We haven't worked out the past three or four days. I was back home for a little bit. Um, so we kind of just took some time off, chilled, recovered, which was actually needed. Um, and we got back on track today with leg day, which felt amazing. Finisher at the end was killer. That was way harder than I expected it to be. Um, quads were on fire, lungs were on fire, um, and we still got some work to do. So we are, let's take a look at the calendar here. We're sitting roughly, what is this? One, two, three, four, so roughly four weeks out from race day. So we got some work to do still. We're gonna go get some miles in today. So easy, probably like easy two or three kind of recovery type miles. Probably bring Kaya along with um, this afternoon because it's beautiful out here in Chicago. And as we're in the next few weeks with it starting to get nice weather, we're gonna get outside and just start running more because I'm switching switching up my program a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna start going for frequency with running. So 
trying to be outside and run four to five, four to six days a week, um, and just keeping each run maybe a little bit lower, which is increasing the frequency to get the miles up. So we've got kind of like the last push here with workouts, like I said, four weeks out roughly. So we got to grind it out and just keep moving forward. So make sure subscribe as always, like the video, comment, all the YouTube stuff as normal. I appreciate all the support. Videos and channel lately have been on the up, which is so dope to see because it's been a long grind kind of uploading videos and then shorts and just everything. So make sure support please means the world and um, getting close to a thousand about halfway there so subscribe appreciate you all if you stuck around this long thank you as always we'll catch you in the next video